All right, today we are pulling the cars out the garage today, take them out for the first time. Uh, spring day, 70 degrees, and I pulls out to the end of the driveway and it stalls on me. Okay, so now let's do a little troubleshooting. I did have this issue last year before I put it up, but then it went away, so of course I kept driving. So um, what I'm gonna do today, I'm suspecting it's the fuel pump. I wanna say it's a fuel pump because it's actually sounding like it's starving for fuel. At this point, my fuel filter is telling me something different. So at this particular time, I'm actually getting some fuel to the system. So I, I would imagine that it'll crank now. So let's see how that goes. And I'm gonna start it from the solenoid, just to make it real simple. Just as I suspected, when you don't need it to work, it works. But um, this is what was going on a little while ago. This was empty. So that let me know that the fuel pump wasn't pumping and both bowls were empty. So that again, let me know either my floats were sticking, but what are the chances of both floats sticking at the same time and having the same amount of fuel in each. So then I have to go to my trusty uh, fuel filter. And at this point, it's doing what it's supposed to do, which it wasn't doing that earlier. So I'm hoping that for the sake of this video that I can get it to do that before Okay, look at what's happening here. It's starting to drain down. So that's telling me that that fuel pump is not kicking in. And uh, it'll run for a while, because of course you got a little fuel in the bowl, but you can see that's, that's gone. So that is absolutely telling me that there's either something clogged in this line, which I doubt because there's no way that that could have been full a little while ago and then all of a sudden whatever's clogged in there is back clogged again. So I'm gonna go back over here to my inlet. My inlet filter is full. So that's telling me that I'm getting fuel to the fuel pump. And I don't know if you can see the bowl from here, but my bowl is full. So I'm eliminating a clog coming from the tank to the fuel pump. So I have to go from the fuel pump line up to my filter now. And again, I'm gonna say, the chances of something being clogged in the here is, is very likely. So I could take that off and check it. But I'm gonna say that the fuel pump is going bad if it ain't bad altogether. And there it is kicking in again and then it stops. Now, of course, you got your jets that are kicking on and off, but this should always be filled because the fuel filter is steady pushing pressure up and the only thing that should stop it is my floats in there, which is triggering the jets to allow the fuel into the bowl. But this should always have fuel in it as long as the car is running. So I'm hoping that it'll shut off for the sake of the video, but it looks like it's gonna work just well enough to run, maybe if I idle it a little bit, it'll starve it a little faster. Now you see, even as I idle, it's a mechanical fuel pump, so it should be kicking fuel in there like, I mean, really good right now, and it's barely coming in there. And that won't be enough to sustain the car, so if I, this little thing runs good though. <laughs> minute and there it is it starts and then it stops this is one of my favorite little pieces on the TR because when you start talking about these little finicky SUs they can have you chasing your behind off and you'll never find what you're looking for until you break them down and test each piece because I can go in and replace the jets and you know, everything in there, 
and it still wouldn't have did what this just did. This told me that whatever is happening, at least at this point, is starting here. I'm gonna shut this off. Now I was at a car show last year when this happened, so wasn't it the best feeling, probably about 30 miles away from home. And uh, I had to figure out what was going on with this before I got back to the house or, or call the tow truck to have it towed in. But uh, my son and I, we kind of tinkered around with it. And what I did was something as simple as uh, take the bowls off and I filled them with fuel and it'll drive. <laughs> It'll drive for a little while if you do that. But every maybe a mile or so, if you get that much out of it, you're gonna have to refill that top. And I'm sure a lot of you mechanic guys already knew this, but I'm not a mechanic. So for me, you see I'm getting fuel. My jets are open now. If I close it, it shuts off. Same thing with this one. So, so my jets are working. Just take you a little cup of gas. Fill it up to that bowl comes to the top, till your float comes to the top. And that's gonna buy you maybe a mile down the road. Just, you see that float still leaking gas out of it? That's telling me there's nothing wrong with my needles. So I put that back on there. So I'm gonna fire this back up. Crank it from the solenoid. And like I said, that'll buy you at least a mile down the road. So I mean, that's it people. Uh, we got a fuel pump issue and that's the easiest way to uh, troubleshoot this on the TR2s, TR3s, and even the TR4s. I'm not real familiar with the TR6s, but I would imagine this is just a practical must-have on any of the uh, Triumphs or old British cars, or any cars for that matter, because um, on my son's XL, we got uh, the same thing on his. Um, I got an open face uh, fuel filter on that. So until the next time, TR Rehab.